Hi LEGO fans, how are you doing? It's time to break out those Thanksgiving pants and go on a break as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of Friends in true LEGO style. I promise I'll be there for you and not sing the smelly cat song because today we're going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing the one with the cafe. It's set number 21319 Central Perk from LEGO Friends. No, not that one, the good one. Before we get started, I just need to give this a little pivot. That's much better. The part count for this set is 1,070 pieces and features seven iconic minifigures. Ross Geller, Monica Geller, Chandler Bing, Phoebe Buffay, Rachel Green, Joey How You Doing Tribbiani, and of course Central Perk wouldn't be complete without Gunther. This is the 27th LEGO Ideas set and it's great to see that LEGO managed to get the number right this time. It was submitted by fan designer Emeric Fivet and the fan design reached 10,000 supporters in September 2018. One year later, here it is! As well as the seven minifigures which adult fans are going crazy for, we also get the interior of Central Perk recreated in phenomenal LEGO detail. It's so pretty I want to cry! On a scale from 1 to 7, this definitely gets a 7. The box art is really nice, complete with friends theming, close-up shots of the minifigures enjoying coffee, we've also got the Central Perk logo, and some fun graphics picking out key themes from the series. Over on the back of the box we get a better idea of what to expect inside. Central Perk is perfectly recreated, including window decals and a busking Phoebe. There's a detailed recreation of the service counter where Gunther prepares coffee, and a comfortable seating area where our friends can pretend to drink coffee and enjoy a light snack. Just keep in mind that Joey doesn't share food. If display space is at a premium, you can even remove the couch to create a perfect display for your minifigures. For a $70 license set, this is actually quite big. Central Perk stands 4 inches high, 11 inches wide and 8 inches deep. If you're a true Friends fan, most of this is probably not brand new information. So let's crack on, open up this box and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got seven bags of Lego numbered for stages one through six, a 164 page instruction booklet which also features cast bios and some information about the fan designer, and although we don't often get stickers inside Lego idea sets, we do have a mercifully small sticker sheet. Mrs H is the big friends fan in the Herbert household, so today she's going to be doing the build, and we're going to roll this up into a two minute and 37 second speed build.
And here is the completed 21319 Friends Central Perk set from LEGO Ideas. Build time was 2 hours and 33 minutes and Mrs H had a blast putting this together. It's definitely a great set for Friends fans. I was expecting this set to be very similar to the Big Bang Theory set, but as you can see Sheldon's apartment is considerably smaller than Central Perk. Friends was one of the most iconic TV series from the 1990s. It first aired on September 22nd 1994 and continued through 10 seasons and 236 episodes to May 6th 2004. It also made megastars out of Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, Matt Perry and David Schwimmer. These guys started out earning $22,500 per episode, and in the ninth and 10th seasons they were pocketing a million dollars per episode each. But you didn't click on this video to hear about facts and figures, so let's take a look around. We're going to start out by taking a look at all of the detail within the central perk set, and then of course we're going to get up close and personal with those minifigures. Friends was of course filmed before a live studio audience, and we have studio lights lighting up central perk. Another really cool detail before we take away these minifigures is the removable couch piece. There's a neat cutout in the floor which makes it really easy to remove, and that creates a really neat and compact place to display those minifigures. We'll come back to those minifigures a little bit later, but for now I've sent them on a break so we can have a poke around Central Perk. The seating area with the orange couch is where a lot of the action happens. In fact the couch is so iconic you even see it in the titles. And why do the friends always get to sit in the same place? There's a very subtle reserved sign that keeps other people away. We also have some flowers, a black thing which I think might be a serviette plucker, and a couple of coffee mugs. In fact in total I think we get 15 coffee mugs with this set. Underneath the seating area we have this rather elaborate removable rug. This comes with various studs for attaching furniture. We also have two chairs with this interesting stickered floral pattern, and a coffee table for more of those coffee mugs. If more comfort is required there's a plush overstuffed chair, and that brings us full circle. One other feature is the extra stud down here which comes in useful when Rachel is serving coffee in seasons 1 through 3, although in fairness she does look a little bit lost down there. Moving deeper into Central Perk you'll find the counter, you know the one where they serve coffee. It also gives us a chance to take a closer look at the studio light. These actually look quite realistic, complete with the barn doors to direct the beam. They're also mounted on ball joints which provides a great amount of articulation. On the wall beside the counter we've got a really nice menu board. You would think this is a stickered piece but it's actually custom printed. This looks pretty much as it did in the TV series and you can order New York themed coffees including the Long Island Cream, Empire Roast or even the Manhattan Mocha. Sounds good to me. Just like the central perk from TV we have this large service sign, and then a really detailed preparation area for the baristas to work their magic. This ain't no Starbucks you know. The attention to detail here is fantastic including the large gold coloured coffee machine. The wall lamps are pretty much as they appeared on the set, I believe those silver things are hot water urns, and this is where the coffee pots should be sitting on the hot plate. Lego doesn't really have a coffee pot element so these do just fine. We also have somewhere for storing tea, a rather Aladdin-esque teapot for brewing up, and I've no idea what the red grate thing represents but there was definitely one of those on the set. Down in the corner we've got some more coffee mugs and a green bottle. I presume that'll come in very handy if you fancy a shot of caramel in your coffee. Out front you'll find the cash desk complete with what I think is Ross's newspaper, a glass jar containing sweet confections, and a suitably old fashioned looking cash register. This is actually a really nice little build. It even has the crank handle to calculate the change and open the drawer. Tucked away in the far corner you'll find the back door which is a working door and also some really nice Italian striped drapes. In the far corner is another seating area complete with flowers and coffee mugs. We also have a printed 2x2 with some wall art. That's a standard Lego print and it's presumably meant to represent the Brooklyn Bridge. Other features include a floor lamp in the corner which has flame elements that remind me of the Statue of Liberty's torch, and a poster on the wall that should strike fear into the heart of even the most ardent music lover. Live tonight, Phoebe Buffet! I wonder if you'll do Smelly Cat! One interesting detail about the build is this very slight angle in the wall you see in the back right hand corner. This is achieved using some pivot points on the outside of the build. There's also some interesting artwork out here but we'll come back and look at that in just a moment. The main entrance to Central Perk is this pair of double doors partially obscured by this awkward green pole. 
The doors are functional, but do leave a slightly awkward frame down the middle. And because New York weather is notoriously unpredictable, there's an umbrella rack inside the door and somewhere to hang a construction worker's hat. Another interesting feature of this build are those three green columns which appear to go nowhere. Of course we don't have a roof on Central Perk, but these would be holding up the next floor. You may recognise the elements themselves from modular buildings, but this dark green version of the element is new for 2019 and created especially for Central Perk. Speaking of which, check out that really cool custom printed window element. It's situated behind the performance area where you might catch Phoebe belting out a version of Smelly Cat. Poor Smelly Cat, it's not his fault. Or if guitar playing isn't really your thing, how about a keyboard session with Ross? I seem to recall Phoebe was the only person who thought Ross was any good. The keyboard is a really nice little build. I especially like the 1x4 printed tile which shows two octaves of the keyboard. When wannabe entertainers aren't taking the stage, we do have this really nice seating area in the window. There's a comfy looking red couch sitting on a decorative mat, a decorative planter full of flowers, and while we're on the subject of interior decoration, we have some really nice window drapes, including one that Mrs H put on in the wrong place. Let's fix that right now. There are a lot of cool interior features in this central perk set. Of course it's missing one thing, and that is character, or more specifically seven characters. Those guys are still on a break, so let's take a look around the outside first. In fact, let's start with that window. In the TV series, I'm pretty sure it said Central Perk on both the inside and the outside. Looking at the logo, it is kind of symmetrical, so I thought that might be the case here. But when you step outside, all you see is the reverse of the sign. Thankfully, LEGO have got a really innovative solution for this. It consists of popping out the window and reinstalling it the other way around. Yes, this is the official way of doing it from the instructions. At least when you do do that, it looks great from the outside. Another option might have been to create a double skinned window, or even to have two walls back to back with different window panels. Anyway, I'm way overthinking this, so let's move on. Around the corner we have those double doors and a doorstep which looks very ADA unfriendly. Apologies to wheelchair users, it seems that Central Perk is off limits to you guys. You'll just have to go to Starbucks instead. The red and white awnings give Central Perk a really nice Parisian feel. I love the contrast and this really helps to lift the build. Outside the doors we have a trash can and what I believe to be an advertising poster. You might recognise this handsome looking guy who's wearing lipstick for some reason. Joey Tribbiani, as you might know, is an actor and appeared in a Japanese TV commercial for Ichiban, the number one lipstick for men. Beyond this decorative section of the exterior, things get a whole lot more mundane. We basically just get to see the other side of the interior walls. The same applies to the section of wall behind the counter, and you can even see the reverse of the printed piece that has all of the coffee names on. It's not very elegant, but I'm sure if you wanted to, you could build a secondary face to hide all of that detail. It looks like our friends have returned from their break, and these guys definitely have a sheepish look on their faces for some reason. So let's move on to the thing you've all been waiting for, the minifigures! These truly are some great minifigs, and each one comes with an accessory befitting the character. From left to right we have Ross Geller, Monica Geller, Chandler Bing, Phoebe Buffay, Rachel Green, Joey Tribbiani, and long-suffering manager of Central Perk, Gunther. So this is talented keyboard player Ross Eustace Geller, PhD, played by David Schwimmer, obviously known as Ross. He is carrying an accessory in the form of this 2x2 printed tile, the LEGO News. Although I'm not certain he's uh, known for reading newspapers, uh, certainly he does write some failed newspapers as a PhD. He was famously robbed by Phoebe when he was about 12. He was robbed of a comic known as Science Boy, which he wrote. So Ross is um, probably one of the less uh, flamboyant characters from friends. He is dressed quite conservatively. We've got these brown pants on here with no printing and then we've got a jacket, shirt and tie. Nice stripy tie print there. But what I really like about Ross is the facial expression. I don't think the hair is new. I think that's a recycled element. But the face just absolutely nails David Schwimmer. Looks great. Turning him around the back we do have a slightly more um, kind of devious smiley expression. I can put that hair back on there. Yeah, um, yeah Definitely not smiley, more devious. He looks a little bit like Sheldon from uh, Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. But overall, I think this is a really nice rendition or really nice recreation of David Schwimmer as Ross. 
Next we have Ross's sister and mother hen of the group, Monica Geller. She was played by Courtney Cox and at one stage I think she was Courtney Cox Arquette. I can't remember whether she's still married to David Arquette or not, probably not knowing how actors and actresses are. She is carrying this cupcake as an accessory because she is of course a professional cook and uh, I believe in her earlier years she used to eat a lot of these. She was 255 pounds at one stage according to the canon storyline. Um, so looking at the outfit here, I believe this is an outfit that she wore in the pilot. She's got these kind of um, reddish brown pants on there. The printing isn't perfect because the reddish brown doesn't quite match the printing which goes up onto the body but she's wearing suspenders here with a kind of white long sleeve top underneath and I love those red suspenders those look great. Got those around the back as well with a little bit of um, printing there just for the contours of the body but then we get this fantastic facial expression. What a beautiful smile she's got there and I love the hairpiece as well with the way this flows down over the front of the shoulders and also the back. Now if we turn that around we do have uh, another facial expression. She looks a little bit more stern and angry there. That's a great expression but actually I prefer this one around the front. It really does look like Monica and I love the way this outfit has been recreated from the pilot. Next we have Chandler Bing who was played by Matt Perry. Again we've got a really nice resemblance here to the character from the TV show. It looks great. He does have an accessory in the form of this laptop. I believe he's some kind of executive in a statistical analytical company. Uh, the laptop here has a keyboard and a screen. Really nice Lego element and uh, I believe he always hated his job. He uh, eventually quit in series 9 or season 9 I think. Uh, but he is dressed for the office here with the khakis on there. No specific printing on those uh, but then we have the open neck shirt in this blue color we've got a vest on over there and then just a little bit of printing around the back but we do have a really nice facial expression here really does look like Matt Perry and we've got this very 90s haircut with uh, kind of wisps of hair everywhere I'm no doubt there's some gel in there somewhere and then Oh yeah, very much less impressed around the back. Doesn't quite look like Matt Perry there, but um, let's just pop that hair back on. Yeah, kind of loses the the look of being Chandler Bing, but overall a really nice Chandler Bing minifigure. Next we've got one of the funniest and most interesting characters. This is Phoebe Buffay played by Lisa Kudrow. And I believe Lisa Kudrow was possibly the most famous actor who actually started in the original series of Friends. Of course that's very different today with some megastars in that lineup. She is here with her guitar which is a beautifully printed Lego element here. As you can see we've got shiny metallic printing there for the frets and the uh, whatever these things are at the top. A really nice Lego element. And I I've just lost the hair. Give me one second. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, Phoebe is one of the more bohemian or oddball characters from Friends. And in keeping with that, we have a very bohemian outfit on here with this very elaborate vest, or I would call it a waistcoat, some really nice metallic printing on there. Some really, really nicely printed detail. And around the back, more of the same, except around the front, we do have the buttons for the front of the vest. The facial expression is somewhat familiar. Let's play a game of Spot the Difference. The one on the left is Phoebe Buffay and the one on the right is Fleur de la Cour. As you can see, they both have exactly the same face. In the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage set, Lego also used Fleur de la Cour's face for the face of Dr. Ellie Sattler. Yes, Phoebe, I too was shocked. To be fair to Lego, this facial expression does work rather well for Phoebe Buffay and overall the character looks great. We do have these brown non-printed pants on there but I really do like that printing on the vest and overall she's a cracking minifigure. How are you doing? This is Joseph Francis Tribbiani Jr, better known as Joey Tribbiani, played by the excellent Matt LeBlanc. He's come with a number of accessories which deserve some further explanation. We have pizza for a start on a 2x2 two two square here, that's a nice printed tile. Uh, Joey does love pizza, he's from Italian descent and he's also carrying a slice of pizza there. And uh, Joey does not share food, in fact that's ruined several relationships for Joey because of girlfriends who want to steal his fries. He does of course also come with another accessory. This actually goes back to I 
think series five or season five, uh, the one with Joey's bag where Rachel persuades him to wear this man bag to land an acting role. And uh, yeah, it ends up looking like a purse or a handbag and it all goes down badly. So let's take that out of the way for just a second and take a look at that fantastic facial expression, which is absolutely 100% Joey Tribbiani with that really nice seductive cheesy smile around the back. We do have a rather more, um, yeah, I guess a more simpering expression. He's got a nice smile on there, but no teeth showing. The printing is restricted, I think, to the torso. We don't have any printing on the legs. In fact, um, yeah, we do have printing on one of the characters. But back to Joey, we've got this uh, kind of red jacket here over a white, almost looks pink undershirt because it's printed over red. And then around the back, just a little bit of printed detail. We've got the kind of hook around the back there, which was on the back of all shirts in the 1990s, I think. But overall, that is a fantastic Joey Tribbiani minifig. One last thing, Joey Tribbiani also appeared in a spin-off after Friends. It was a show called Joey, it ran from 2004 to 2006, and we shall never speak of it again. This is Rachel Karen Green, who was played by Jennifer Aniston. She is dressed here for her role as a server at Central Perk, and she worked there until Season 3, Episode 10, the one where Rachel quit. I really would like to see her dressed as she was in the pilot, but in order to do that, I'm going to need a prop. I've got to confess I thought this was a good idea at the time, but then I realised that the minifigure Bride had yellow skin. Hence we've got an awkward yellow patch on Rachel's chest. Incidentally, I don't recommend popping the arms off minifigures, but a YouTuber's got to do what a YouTuber's got to do. In keeping with her role as a server, she's equipped with this tray and coffee cup. It's kind of awkward to get a minifigure to hold one of these properly because their arms just aren't long enough. The printing on the Rachel minifigure is really nice. We've got this kind of sleeveless denim top on here and then some really fine detail on the torso. You can see she's got an open neck there with a uh, necklace underneath and a little bit of metallic printing and then more metallic printing here for the buttons on the front of the denim top. I guess this is going to be some kind of vest with pockets and then the printing continues down onto the pants here. She's the only one with printed legs and we've kind of just got some printing here for the little apron she would wear around the back some more printing for the back of the denim shirt again we've got a little hook on the back there which is very common in the 90s and then of course we have the classic Jennifer Aniston Bob the Rachel cut which of course was hugely popular in the late 1990s or the mid 1990s and then the facial expression is superb really looks like Jennifer Aniston and if we look around the back we do have a more shouty Rachel which looks fantastic overall I think this has to be one of my favorite minifigures from the set and that is of course the fantastic Rachel Green and last but not least, we have Central Perk's long-suffering manager, Gunther, who doesn't have a last name for some reason. I was never able to find it. He is carrying this pretty standard Lego sweeping brush, which is not very exciting, and then he's dressed pretty appropriately, or not as the case may be for a coffee shop manager. He's definitely got it right here with the plain black pants, but then this outrageous lime green shirt and tie combo. The shirt is an obscene colour, and the tie is just outrageous. Uh, really nicely printed. I, I like the contrast here with the uh, red, lime green and orange, I guess, spots on the white tie, but uh, yeah, what a combination to wear. The other striking feature of Gunther is his hair, which is absolutely uh, platinum white. It's been bleached completely of colour. And then, um, yeah, pretty uh, nondescript facial expression around the back. He's looking a little bit more perplexed, uh, but that is actually a pretty good Gunther. Um, I don't know whether the hair really fits him properly. I guess in the TV series it's more kind of a very pale platinum blonde, but um, anywho, that is definitely recognisable as Gunther. So we have an absolutely fantastic set of seven minifigures which make this the friend set that it is. I do have several favourites from the group. I'm a big fan of Monica Geller. How could you not like Joey Tribbiani with that fantastic smile? I love the attention to detail with the Rachel Green minifig, but I think my favourite has to be Phoebe Buffay. I love the torso printing with that really bohemian style, and she looks great holding that guitar. 
but I'm really interested to know which you think matches the character best, and which one of these seven minifigures is the dud. As always, any and all comments are welcome in the comment section below. So that was set number 21319, Central Perk from Friends of TV series, the 27th set from LEGO Ideas. Considering this set is aimed at adult fans of LEGO, it has sold like wildfire. There were people queuing outside the LEGO store on the 1st of September when I got mine, and if you want to buy one from LEGO's online store, you can't. This happened with the Saturn V and LEGO made tons of them. Don't resort to those scalpers on eBay, just have some patience. Personally, I'm not a Friends super fan, so I can't promise all of the details are right here. Certainly the main things I know about Friends seem to have been recreated really nicely here. We've got that Central Perk logo, some really really good minifigures, and I love the attention to detail with the service counter. It's great fun that we've got the removable couch, and I wouldn't be surprised if quite a few adult fans are buying two sets. One to display like this, and another one to showcase their minifigures on the couch. But what do you guys think? Is this a suitable tribute to the 1990s classic? Or does Phoebe need to adapt the Smelly Cat song for this? Whatever you think to Central Perk, I do hope you enjoyed this LEGO Ideas unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. You'll also find loads more reviews just like this on my channel. So my friends, thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe, and remember, I'll be there for you!